Not to startle anyone, but ah! Says Beagle as a bird. Not to freak anybody out. What's up? What's up? Ba 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 ba. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh. Huh? It's stream world time, yo. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm sorry. This stream has to be paused. I'm gonna stream. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna stream. Guys, hang on. I'm gonna stream. <laughs> no, it's gone now. It's gone. I laughed the sneeze away. He's gonna scrum. <laughs> Oh god, he got a stream. I'm gonna stream! I am gonna stream today. Um, we're gonna stream RimWorld. It's been like months since I declared this the year of RimWorld and guys... Boy, Beagle loves to lie, but that was sure a big one. It was not the year of RimWorld, but the year isn't over yet, so was it a lie? No. Did you pick up ideology? I always had ideology, but I did never I never picked up royalty, which I still should probably get at some point. As you can see, down at the bottom left. Um, I don't know, I've never bought it, but I probably should get it. Anyway. Um Imagine paying to get me able to play Rimworld. Yeah, and it was great fun. It was great fun. Um, but it has not been the year of Rimworld because I was foolishly waiting for a mod that I commissioned to get made, which didn't get made. And maybe we'll get made in the future, but at this point, who the fuck knows? But it's not here. So I, I, I was like, you know, it's time to play some goddamn RimWorld again. I'm sick of waiting for turn-based RimWorld. I just want to play RimWorld again. Um, so we're playing it today. Um, do you actually get scammed? No, no, no. No money has changed hands. Um, yeah, cliches in chat. Cliche who, uh, who got us into RimWorld last time. And I'm glad they did, because that was a fun time. But then I was like, oh, I'll just wait for this little easy peasy mod to be made. Never got made. Um, maybe it will be in the future, hopefully, if the guy's time. But anyway, we're playing it now because it's fucking real time. Stop making me tell you guys again. I'm sick of telling you guys about the mod, guys. Guys. Let's talk about the future. The future is RimWorld. It's the year of RimWorld. What kind of mod? He's gonna stream. He's done talking about it. <laughs> SK for <versus> all. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to get a turn-based mod going for RimWorld. That's about it. XCOM RimWorld. Anyway. So. I have a question for all you guys. Um... I need the answer. I want to know if you guys want to do what start you guys want to do for RimWorld today, okay? So, hang on, I need to check something first before we start, but but I, I'm going to put a poll up, unless there's a mod here to put it up for me. Oh, Sammy's here. Um, so, we're going to start a new colony today. Um, the question is, now all, all, of, all of the colonists are going to get raffled into you guys, and we're, we're going to get more of them. It's not going to be solo forever, but the question is, do you want to start as a single... Uh, a single, like, lone wolf, well-equipped with, you know, good good gun and stuff, good gear. A single, well-equipped lone wolf with good stats. Because I'm going to give you, gonna, gonna give us points to, like, set our stats, okay? Do you want to do one, like, really cool, like, John Wick, basically. Really well-equipped and statted lone wolf. And they build up from that. Or, do you want to have three, three wolves. They're not actually wolves. They might be. I've got Anthro mods on. Three people. Um, but the power is diluted amongst them, so none of them are as good as that single colonist would, would, would we would make. But they will each be good at their own things, and together they will form a team that makes a... That, that makes a competent start. So that, that's your choice. Um, we'll put a poll up. I'll, I'll put a poll up, unless you want to do it for me, Sammy. Sammy, put the poll up. Sammy, do it. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Sammy, stop being drunk on Total Warhammer for one second. Put this poll up for me, Sammy. It's up. Boom, Sammy. Boom, boom, boom. It's already up, bald head. <laughs> yeah, do you want Lone Wolf or the Wolf Pack? You pick, and that's what I'll do. And then I think I'll just give us, like, some points. We'll, we'll point by, and I'll just say, like, okay, we can spend, like, what? We'll, we'll decide what's fair. We've never done this before. We'll, you know, can we spend 800 points of stats or something? We'll decide what's fair. Meanwhile, I need to check something with my mods, so I'm just going to turn this off so you can't see the game for a second. Don't panic. This is normal. You're not meant to see anything right now. Someone always says, even though I've just said it, like, someone new will show up and be like, Well, I can't see anything! Ah! Just to be clear, this is, this is good right now. It's good that you can't see things. Twitch chat. Na 
Hey man, I'm just checking if the Twitch chat mod has like a way to make the bubbles bigger. But I'm not seeing it. Do you guys want to have a command to say things in game or just have everything you say in chat come in, in, in game? I think it's funnier when everything from chat just comes in the game. Because then you're like talking in the chat, just make the squirrels like talk about the game. I love it. And then Moobot gets to talk too. Then we get the Moobot squirrels, <laughs> which I think is great. PG Tip says, I bet Beagle has Rim Job World on. I don't. Croker says, No stream. Croker! Croker! Time in seconds to show message bubbles 10. Uh, do you think 10's enough, guys? What about 15? Sammy says it's overwhelming for three people. It's because, and I will tell you exactly why it's overwhelming for three people. And do you know why? I'll tell you why. Because that's three more chances to be raffled. I guarantee you, that's the only reason. <laughs> 15, we'll put 15 seconds on for chat bubbles. Raiders and visitors can have the same name as animals, yes. Can you imagine? I can turn this off. If there's an animal of the name The Hay, then the name can't be reused for raiders. Can you imagine if I had that on? Sorry, bro, you're all the squirrel. You can't be anyone else. Get fucked. You're a rat. <laughs> you can't be a person. <laughs> anti Paragon says, I hope the first three people die and I hope I'm amongst them. Well, there you go. Allow wealth and worked commands this will post the current colony wealth to chad okay you guys can type exclamation mark wealth apparently and it tells you the colony wealth there you go uh chad or blacklist should i blacklist anyone from this do you, do you guys in chat want to have a new poll on which user to blacklist from being able to have fun there's a blacklist here i can blacklist people yeah the screen's supposed to be blank <laughs> blacklist incredible <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, up the ball. We turn it back on. Blacklist Curtitude Gaming. No, I would never. Poor Curtitude Gaming doesn't know what they did wrong. Okay, so, new colony. Three people weaker. Sammy says, you should come back to 3k at some point, Beagle. Ban, it's just sick now. Yeah, that game is like from 2012. I would never play it. Embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna play Immortal Empires next month, Sammy. That's your warmer fix from me. And then Dark Tide after that. You're going to play Dark Tide with me, Sammy. I'm um, going to disable Trader Cabin Arrival. I mean, we're going to allow that, sorry. Next. Okay. So. Boom, boom, boom. Beagle playing Long War Campaigns in 2022. Oh, yeah. XCOM is literally from 2012, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like attached to XCOM with like a manacle around my ankle. Don't. Ta taunt me about it. We're gonna do wealth independent progress mode with years until maximum threat on six. Uh, adaptation impact. Boom! We don't even let the game make it easier on us. Yeah, I'm playing 1994 XCOM true. <laughs> yeah, but but it's not from 20 uh, from 1994 to be fair because it's new open XCOM plus Rose Sigma, which is very current, still in development. Gorg says Immortal Empire is gonna be so broken and release is not even gonna be funny. Yeah, I can't wait to get into it. It's gonna be like the Wild West, baby. So adaptation impact we got straight down um, because it's just going to be as challenging as it is challenging. It's not even going to care about us. It's fucked up. Um, we don't need to change anything else, I think. I don't, really, I don't really think I need to change anything else. I think the rest is fine. Just leave the rest on, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whoop! Okay. Now we're going to turn off some shit. We're going to turn off planetary mechanoid hive. We're going to turn off Insect Hive, because that's the vanilla one, I think. The, these are the expandeds, I think. 
Um, so I, I've got like expanded mechanos and expanded insects on, so I'm just getting rid of the, the defaults I don't need. Um, we're gonna leave on the Savage Tribe. Um, chat always wants the Cat Girl Town to be left on. I'm gonna turn it off, but if chat yells loud enough, I'll put it back on. I'm gonna leave Savage Kingdom on. Uh, Savage Tribe. Because we like having some enemies. Um, we're gonna leave on Pirate Gang and Bandits. Um, and then Civil Settlers. Or Rough Settlers. They are not concerned of the practical matters of trade and trust. They believe that no one is created equal and only strength allows one to survive on the frontier. Leave Nyarons on. Alright, everyone always wants the Nyarons left on. Uh, then we'll leave on a Civil Outlander Union. We'll leave on the Nihal Conglomerate and Civil Settlers. Or should we make them both rough? This particular group has a streak of barbarity in them. I mean, don't we all? Maybe, I mean, won't, won't our colony too? Maybe we should leave them on. Leave the Nihals on, the space fascists. For the factions expanding across the map, fewer starting settlements is a good idea. Yes, I think I have that on by defaulty. Yes, I think I already have it set down. Yeah, the fish cannons, uh, sorry, the fish Nazis are still in with their AA auto cannons. I love them. <laughs> yeah, boot. Boots, people. That's right. Maybe we'll just pick one friendly faction between rough civil outlanders and civil settlers. Oh, we'll leave them both on. That's fine. Whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. If we don't like the map, we'll just make a new one. Okay. Uh, next. Generate. So I already have my faction control settings so that there's less settlements because, yeah, we have Rimwar on, so with Rimwar on, they will expand settlements across the map automatically. I haven't really played a game, like, like very long of it, so it's not very playtested, but, yeah, they'll expand pretty quick. Okay, so... As we can see here, we've got a couple of xenophobic space Nazi bases around. We have a couple of Savage Kingdom bases, medievals. We have, uh... <laughs> The little cat girl town, let's be respectful here, cat woman town it is right here next to all of them, so that's not great for them. Uh, Savage tribe is here. Uh, we've got like one, okay, nice settlers, nice, uh, nice outlanders, and then bandits up here. Okay, so... What we do when we play this is we, um, this is a, I like this map, this is a cool map. What we do when we play this is we, we select random site, um, and then we go from there. That's what we did last time, that's what we're gonna do again. Uh, we get like a few mulligans, we get like three moles, so we get to click select random three times. So if we don't like it the first two times, we can click it again. Are they literally all women? Yeah, I believe Nyaron is like all women. I thought I turned Nyaron off, actually, now that I think of it. I guess I left them on. There you go. Alright. Let's go select random site number one, and that puts us, and we can move around, we can leave the tile, but it just gives us the general area. That puts us up here, um, in like grassland, there's like hills and rivers around, there's a major road around, it looks okay. It puts us near a savage tribe. Uh, it, it doesn't look too bad at all. We're kind of near the middle as well, we could like just travel. I'd probably just, like, travel down to this, like, main road, river mountains area, and probably, like, build a base in the mountains somewhere around here. Which is, like, a decent place to start. What do you guys think? You want to go with this one? No, you can't settle on the ocean. Year-round growing zone? Oh, is it? Oh, because we're in that nice, that's nice temperature part. Right. I mean, the map itself ain't bad either. Like, we don't need to be on a river or anything. And, like, you got a mountain... You got a mountain there in the mine? Don't know what the deposits are like, but we'll have a look when we get there. It looks okay. Is this like Dwarf Fortress? Kind of, yeah. I think people are saying, let's go. So let's go here. Okay, next. Alright, uh, do you want to do like a fluid ideology? Ide ideology. Create custom fluid, yes. Um, ideological. Ideological. Ideological emancipation. Fluid's fun, yeah. We'll just start with, like, slavery is bad, okay? <laughs> you sure you don't want to start with God Emperor? There's xenophilia or xenophobia. We can be male or female supremacists. You know what? We could be fishing culture. I think I'm going to pass on all that shit. Just slavery is bad, okay? It's a pretty simple start. 
Ideo ideology. To subjugate another is to subjugate yourself. Bars, Nalco McIntyre. Um, slavery is forbidden. Uh, alien slavery acceptable. I think the fuck not, Rimworld. Hope you add rats as venerated animals. You little memers. Let's check our, like, random precepts it gave us here. Um, just make sure everything's, like, normal. Morgan used no harvest. Eat aliens of horror, yes. It's bad to blind people, like, against their will. Um, we're not gonna go egalitarian or diversity of thought, because that's how you get liberalism in your colony, where, like, <laughs> we had this last time. We went egalitarian last time instead of emancipation, and egalitarian is, like, you have to have huge respect for other people's thought, which is great, except then our colony had, like, pirates join it who were like, we should kill and enslave everyone, and you're not- <laughs> you have, like, no option. It cancels your ability to, like, say that's bad, and, like, so the colony just starts getting converted to, like, really bad- <laughs> ideologies because the because your your liberal colonists like co don't tell anyone that it's bad to like murder other people yeah we had the end of the world meteor cultists that's right yeah if you go e egalitarianism uh, as a start sucks in this because it cancels your ability to proleticize whatever it's called it basically in this game which means say to other people that your ideology is good and theirs is bad um so uh, that that sucks we were all just slowly converting to um, the Doom cult because of that. Yeah, running max speed into the paradox of tolerance. It was not good. Um, insect meat. Uh, physical love, spouse only mild. Though it's understandable to make love of another outside of marriage. It's not a good thing. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Fuck as much as you want. Scarification. Scarring people for ideological reason is horrible. Skull spikes. You know, kind of barbaric, bro. Death is normal. Insect jelly is chill. Um, sickness is a part of life. Chores are chores. Wearing dead people's clothes is kind of cringe. Wearing ratty clothes is also cringe. <laughs> Violence is okay. Um, this is a monogamous. Monogamy is like normal. And you keep your names on marriage, that's fine. The leader is the High Emancipator. The moral guide is Ethicist. The funeral is Liberating Requiem. Okay, because you, you can never be a slave because you're dead. Party of Freedom, hell yeah. Ideological Jubilee, that sounds like a great time. <laughs> the Free Memento. A self-loading large bore cannon. Its large caliber shells do heavy damage. Over significant ranges, the free memento. And the free remembrance, incendiary grenade launcher. Reach your seat, pew! And then we got pew 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 pew. Okay, um, we don't have a venerated animal. Do you guys want rats as the venerated animal? There you go. We venerate the rat. Alright, who are we sharing our place with? Hang on, let me go up to the top. <laughs> Ideal ideology. What a great ideology. Venerate boomalopes? No. I, I guess this is fun. They're gonna be sad when Rat31 dies of alcohol poisoning again. I haven't got that on this uh, right now, like last time. I haven't got on the Twitch toolkit, so you can't spam rats yet. That would be fucking horrifying though with the venerated animal being rat. I couldn't even kill them. Uh, add the furry style? What? What are you talking about? Okay, and then we have a bunch of motherfuckers. Outlaw view. I looked at the prison warden with his pitiful corrupt guards, all that power left fallow. I tried to convince him that you only have the right to what you can defend. If anyone disagrees, I'm always ready to defend myself. Thoughts of an ethical guard by Emily Beasley. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds like a great time. Oh shit! Meanwhile, we got Ala over here. Are these the... Are, are these the insectoids? No, this is the... This is the, the Savage Kingdom. Which is... Shiite. Okay. 
<laughs> the supremacist raider republic. The dignity of the republic is of first importance and preferable to life. <laughs> Allah looked around him and saw the weak, sullen, and despised, and he in turn slew them each in blazing glory. Okay. Alright, so we're sharing the planet with them. Full Super Samkia. The mood is dictated by stars. Human primacy. Archotex. I don't know what cube means. Who is this? These are like... These are like some of the secrets. Alright. Boom. Now we've got our people here. A <laughs> trash humanist. Here's our people. Um, do they do they have like basic good good like not crazy shit going on? Yeah, they look like fine enough basically. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we raffle. Oh great, we got a misogynist. That's always great. What I'm thinking is we raffle these starting three. Um, and then what we're gonna do is prepare carefully, and we'll like give you guys some points and you guys can tell me what you want to be good at as long as each of you is like kind of good at shooting um do we insert those words now yeah so i'm gonna do this one manually i think so we know who's who now and then i'll assign you manually once we get in i don't think it'll automatically do it otherwise it'll be sad people are like oh my god i got raffled as the colonist uh oh. you read couch you saw couch potato and read it as cr crouch prosthetic no it does not say that Okay, start a new raffle. Okay, raffle's open. Exclamation mark raffle. <laughs> I told you I was going to sneeze. I told you I was going to stream. There it is. Exclamation mark raffle in chat if you want to be one of our three starters here. Let's go. King Moore, Blen Rama, Blen Truman Rama, and Estelle Lady Romero. Imagine your middle name being Lady. That's badass. Undergrounder. Nice. Mountain base. We got a little... We got like a little null morph here. A little cat morph. A little, little bunny morph. We got some peeps here. Excuse me, I got the sniffles off that. Alright, let's see who the first one is. So, 69 total entrance. And the winner is PG Tips. Is our first up here. Where do I type that in? PG tips. PG tips king. <laughs> we'll do it probably once we get in. Our next one is the real albino Saxon. The albino Saxon. The albino Saxon. Blen. We'll do your names probably once we get in. And Stiletto, what the fuck? Wins for the third time like this week. Stiletto. He's back again. Can't stop this guy. Person. Don't gender the chat, Beagle. Can't stop this person. Stiletto. Okay. Huh. I got the sniffies now. I'm so sorry. I'll drink some water to make it go away. So, now that we've raffled our first three colonists, and don't worry, there'll be plenty of chances for the rest of you. Ah! Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to go to prepare carefully. Boop. And, okay, let's... Where the fuck did you guys' clothes go? Um. Let's see here. So, I'm gonna say that will give you guys each. Like, what, what's, uh, well, let's see here. How many points would be, like, okay, so a point is 20. So, going from 4 to 20 here is, like, 340 points. How many points should I give you guys each? Uh, to, like, try and decide what you want to be good at. If you're doing it your way, turn a point limit. Yeah, no, no, I will after. We're just using it for right now so we can see. 
so we can see how many points we're doing. I know, I know PG Dips, it's fine. 400 each, you reckon? Because you can also do passions, don't forget. And I'll let you move your shit around as well if you want. Um, the thing stays on. Yeah, I can just turn it off. Look. See? It's fine. Just gives us a little counter, which is real easy. So, it also costs 20 points for a minor passion. And then 64 for a major. Um, so, do you guys do you guys even care? Do you want me to just do it myself? I can just do it myself and like make sure we have a good blend here. But if you guys like have like a a dream, like a thing you want your colonists to be good at, now is the time to tell me your character concept, okay? And then we'll do what we can of it. Just use points total spent per character. Where does it say that? PG Tips wants to be a combat scientist. Okay. So. That means we want to get you up to like at least 10 over here. With a little minor passion. I should have done capable of dumb labor. No, everyone's capable of dumb labor. We're all good. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> you're not capable of intellectual. Okay, I gotta change that about you then. Why aren't you capable of intellectual? What is that from? Scout? Enroll in a youth program that taught military scouting skills. He managed to survive in the wilderness to obey and not last question. So we gotta change that, I'm afraid. Shelter child, there you go. You're in a shelter now. So this says, if I'm a rabbit, can I at least be a cook? Can I be at least a cook? I feel it'd be a missed opportunity if I wasn't. Fill me, fill me for the rest. Okay, you wanna be the cook? That's fine. Hang on. I didn't see how many points I spent on you now. Let's say that like all up we can spend like what? 1200, 1500 points? Let's just do it like together. Just all total. So 10 for you, and I'll give you doubles for the thing you want to be the most. I'll give you passions. Um, that leaves Albino Saxon. Albino Saxon, are you here? Do you have any, like, big dream you want your colonists to be? Do you have any, like, one main skill you'd like to be? Flippy says, do you have the mod list we can look at, Beegs? Not on me right now, but I can get it for you later in Discord if you ask me in Discord later. I'm gonna make your guys' shooting good. Albino said do whatever, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So let's just, like, try to keep it under, like, 1,500 points spent, I think. Um, you love melee. We love that about you. Um, so we need construction, mining. We need someone who's good at at least one of these things. Construction, mining. About a section medic or something. Okay, you can be the medic. Construction, mining, cooking. Plants. Medical. Social intellectual. We need all these things. You can kind of skip animals, crafting, artistic for the start, I think. Um, but the rest we need. Fill roll, yeah, support, classic support player. Well, you're already good at medical, so there you go. Um, you're incapable of intellectual and crafting as well. That's fine, you don't need to do intellectual crafting. So we'll put you up some more. Quite specific traits, if so, give me careful shot. Uh, yes, I will try to give you that. Where is careful shot? I know it's a thing, it's obviously not called that. What's it called? Anybody know what it's called in RimWorld real quick? Careful shooter, there it is. Takes more time to aim when shooting, shoots less often than others, but with more accuracy. Oh, no, you can't have that because that apparently costs, like, fucking <laughs> 600 points. What? That's insane. Is that because there's just so many traits here? Wait, no, beautiful. I didn't tell you to be beautiful. I told you to have a careful shot. Okay, there you go. Never mind. That's fine. Beautiful is just, like, worth a shitload, apparently. But, oh, careful shot is just nothing. Sorry, it's 600 to be beautiful. But careful shooter is, like, free. Take a trait away, I also have wrong trait. What do you mean? What, what wrong trait do you have? You're not neat? You're not neat in real life? Are we modding? Oh, we're modded as hell. Yeah, I got, like, 200 mods. Over at Leo Soteric says, I feel like beautiful should be worth negative points because everyone will constantly hit on them and get sad when they're shut down. Oh, from like a colonist point of view. <laughs> I mean a manager point of view. 
PG says, I mean, I'm not neat, but I mean, if you need points. Uh, no, we're good. It's fine. Anti Paragon says, 600 points for a beautiful. No wonder my parents didn't take it during character creation. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Who is going to be social here? Who's like our de facto leader boss? Um... Maybe... Let's see, okay. So, let's bump up your shooting, because your shooting sucks here. Give you melee up a little bit as well, and give you a little puff in there. Oh, your shooting is terrible. We're gonna buff that up. You guys need to be competent combatants. I'm gonna buff up your melee, because that's rules. Um, unfortunately, that spends a lot of points. Okay, someone needs to be good at construction. It can be you. Uh, Albino, up to eight. You're a good miner too. Eight, perfect. Um, cooking is good. We can take away stuff, right, too. Yeah, so you don't need to be, you don't need to be a great cook. We can take that away if we want. Um, you're a great artist. You're a great medic. You can always done checkpoint limits. No, we will, but we're trying to limit ourselves to under 1,500 points spent. So we're kind of hitting that now. Um... So we have a miner, a constructor, a cooker, we have a planter. Great. Fantastic. Um, crafting animals, plants, we don't really need. I mean, crafting animals, artistic. We have a medic. Uh, and we have a researcher. So we really just need social. That's it. And then, you know, so who's going to be our social? I guess it could be you. Oh, okay, so now we need to shave some points down to make this work. Uh, so let's shave some points down off... Albina, you've really got all the stuff, don't you? I'm going to take a bit, bit away of your natural-born art talent, I think. You're making the misogynist our social? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, let's, let, let's not do that. Hang on. <laughs> hey, let's actually not do that. Uh, Stiletto! Stiletto, do you want to be our, uh, our social? Maybe that's a better idea. <laughs> Pre-cancelled albino. I got raffled into my, my streamer's, uh, game the other day. Yeah, what are you? A misogynist. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, but what do you want the stream, bro? I have two medics. PG Tips just straight up started medical, by the way. I guess it's not bad to have two medics. I'm going to turn you down a little bit there. Down to eight. Down to seven. I'm a misogynist cave dweller. Uh, leave it on that. Leave it on that. Um, you can go one down to cooking. F 1504 is fine, I think. We're like four over. You guys don't mind, right? Yeah, it's just between friends, right, chat? It's just between friends. Okay, so I think we're ready. Uh, we've got every skill we need. Shooters, meleeers. Constructor. Miner, planter, artistic, medical, and social, N and one intellectual. Now, what's interesting about I've got a mod on. I'm going to bring my my notes up. I've got a mod on here that that does, uh, you know, advised or ill advised. You be the judge. But I've got a mod on here that um makes it so these skills provide secondary benefits as well. Uh, let me get what they do. Um, and you can decide if this is based or cringe. Where is it? I, I won't care either way, but, you know, just to let you know. Um, what are they? I thought I wrote notes down. They must be on my mod manager. Hang on. Uh, what was it? WMO? What was it? Yes. So, uh, WMO is Vanilla Skill Enhancement CE version, which does. Uh, so, the higher you're shooting, the lower your aiming delay. Uh, which we also have a few other mods on that kind of do that as well. I have a mod on that makes gun cooldown random um, to kind of add variance to gunfighting and combat. Uh, and it's more likely to roll lower delay, random lower, be faster shooter if you're higher at shooting, and more likely to be higher delays if you are lower. Wait the dice. Uh, anyway, so this mod is higher shooting skill, gives you lower aiming delay, makes sense. Having higher melee skill makes you take less damage. It's like DR. Um, I don't know how much the number is. Is it just like a little mod I put on? I haven't really playtested it much. Um, also, higher melee skill also makes you have a little bit faster movement. Um, 
construction uh, gives you higher carrying weight. Mining uh, changes your comfy temperature, makes that better, I guess. Cooking makes you uh, uh, less sensitive to smoke. <laughs> Planting makes you less sensitive to toxicity. Animals is uh, buffs your immunity gain speed. Artistic buffs your mental break threshold. Ah, yes. I, I remember I like this mod because it made it so dump statting art wasn't the smartest thing to do anymore. Because normally you just dump stat art, you min max like a true D&D player. But this one gave a little buff to it. So if you have a high artistic, you have a better mental break threshold and you have a better loading factor. Uh, which I thought was cute. Crafting increases your reloading speed. Uh, and your carrying bulk. Medicine increases your rest rate. Social it increases your beauty. So if you're very social, if you have high social stats, people think you're more beautiful. And intellectual just increases your work speed. I like this mod because it makes dump stats less of a thing. Uh, someone's asking for the mod. I'll link it in chat. So, you know, if you get a colonist who has, like, these really high, like, artistic and stuff, and you're like, that's so fucking useless, it's a little bit less useless now. Um, it does mean that, like, you guys are kind of dumpstead in a lot of ways, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. They're, they're like, minor things, I think. It'll be fine, guys. Let's go. You spent too many points. Oh, yeah, and then I'll turn that off. Boom. Confirm. And now the game crashes. Isaac, subscribe for 10 months and says, I swear to God, if I come back as a bunny brawler and you shoot me in the stomach of a Glock again. Well, don't start a prison riot. Okay, don't start a prison riot. What do you want me to tell you? All right, now, this is a bit of a, a test run for us again, too. It's our first time playing room with a little while. Um, so we got all our gear to put on with our little start here. We also have on the world, um, just so we don't forget. Not only all these other factions around, uh, but we also have the Mechanoids. Now, like I said, I took the Mechanoids off as their vanilla incarnation. We have vanilla expanded Mechanoids on. What do vanilla expanded Mechanoids do, Beagle? Well, if you're here at the end of Resignia today, you know I explained it. But you weren't here, so I'll explain it again. See, this thing, this is a frigate. This is the new Mechanoids. The Mechanoids don't start on the planet now, the way I turn off the uh, the ancient Mechanoids. These these are not old and busted Mechanoids. These, these Mechanoids are feeling fine. They're out here doing things. And what they will do is they will periodically land ships on the planet, a la XCOM. Uh, you can see these guys have landed quite far away from us. Uh, and what these mechanoid ships are here to do is fuck you up. Um, they're here to take over the planet. They land their ships and every landed mechanoid ship becomes a permanent base. Every mechanoid base created in this way, uh, until you destroy it, is adding to the combat power of mechanoids on this planet. And that combat power is used to launch raids. So then when the Mechanoids come and raid you, they will be stronger and better based on how many bases you've allowed them to have on the planet. Uh, and they get better, more advanced enemy types as their strength goes up, and they get uh, AI upgrades that let them take cover uh, at a certain breakpoint. And basically, it's bad news. So it's like XCOM. It's like Long War Strategy Game. XCOM. So it encourages us to go, like try and get some kind of transport uh, and, you know, get out there and actually take on these Mechanoid ships and not let them, like, build up a ton of them. Uh, and they can come and land ships near us and in our map as well and do that. Um, so do we want to stay here? It doesn't seem like a bad map. Let me look at the map preview around. You know, th there's a river down here if I wanted to go down here. Um, but, you know, having year-round going period is nice. Wait, you guys said this was year-round, but it says 30 to 60 days. Is it? That's not year-round, is it? 60 days is a, is a rim year, I think. No, it's only 30 out of 60 days. Why did you guys say year-round? What the fuck? You lied like hell. Year round is down here, baby. We got winter up here. USS Defiance says, Beegs, I played with that mod and shit just sends the pilot without you being able to do stuff about it. Cool. Sounds interesting. I like this game with some, like, fucked up challenge in it. It's more interesting. I don't really like want it to be just be a, an innocent sandbox. I like it when, like, shit is killing you. It's more interesting that way to me. Well, anyway. I could move. It's like a nice little corner base in here. Do I want to do an underground base? What do we think in chat? Do we want to be underground or do we want to be overworld? First things first, let's grab our gear. Who's our best shooter? I think you're all on like 10. Stiletto is the best shooter, but Stiletto is also the best medic, right? No, Stiletto's the cook. Okay. Grab the AKM. I'm going to give you the best. I'm going to go underground and fight bugs. Yeah, we've got undergrounders too, right? Uh, you're an undergrounder. 
Where is your... You're an undergrounder. We have two undergrounders, so yeah. Mine base makes sense. Equip your AKM. Uh, who's the second best shooter? PG tips, you can have the SKS, and Albino, you can have the MP5. PG tips says I'm careful to remember my weapon choice. Yeah, well, it'll work over the SKS. Grab all that. You guys can put some clothes on if you want. So we're going to put on some clovey clothes. Our little tactical family here. Put on our body armors that we start with. Desert Blend says, I hope that this playthrough, I don't keep rolling animals and Beagle keeps voring me. Oh, that reminds me. Let's properly give you guys your name so you can talk in game. Uh, link to name. So. Boom. You guys should be able to talk now. If not, let me know. Uh, you won't be able to see your chat messages come up when I'm paused, of course. Um, here, take take the body armor off. Um, because you'll actually be uncomfortable wearing it when you're... We'll just keep it for combat, so pick it up. Yep, PG Tips is talking, excellent. Um, we've got two pistols here. Let's do a pistol... Sidearm for you. Wait, no, that's wrong. You're the... You're not the AKM. You don't need one. You get that as a sidearm. You get this as a sidearm. And then we all get knives as sidearms. You must be able to still let O. Um, S-T-I-L-H-O-U E Two Ts. Are you doing limited ammo? No. No, I don't do limited ammo. If this was turn-based, I would try limited ammo, but without it being turn-based, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in real-time ammo management. That sounds like fucking hell. How do I rename you? Hello, how do I rename you? Stiletto, Stiletto, where, 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 Rimworld? Where rename? Aha. Stiletto. Twitch. Link to name. Should be working now. Okay, and then let's pick up some shit. You're the medic. Backpacks, yes, yeah, so we're gonna pick up our backpacks. No, don't arrest. What are you doing? Don't do that. Pick up our combat gear for later. We're gonna pick up a grenade. Grenade. Yeah, do not arrest your friends. Your friends are your friends. Um, I gotta tell you to use your range weapon instead of pulling your knife out because you're a brawler. Pick up some bed rolls. Don't leave any shit behind, guys. We need all this shit. Uh, who's not wearing their polo shirt? Come get a polo shirt. Uh, Albina, you can pick up all the components. Those are valuable. I have a thing on where you can't mine components. You have to, like, trade for them. It's probably dumb, but I did it. I can take it off if I don't like it. Uh, let's get the medic, picking up most of the medicine. Twelve for you. My favorite part of any beagle stream, the loadout screen. <laughs> you know what? Pick up a little medicine each. We can use this for my inventory, so it's handy to have. And then let's pick up our foodies. Everybody's got foodies. And you can just bring you like your spare clothes if you want. Okay. Yeah, P music is so good. This sounds like a new P music track. I don't know this one. There's apparently like some fucking new Oh what you can target areas now and see. There's like some new fucking thought, some new didn't even table thought of like when you're dressed exactly the same as me, I'm mad. That's, like, new to me. Oh, look, Stiletto, it's a rat. And PG Tips is also here. 
as a hair. So the way that you get raffled into this, by the way, we're pretty sure that, um... I'm gonna turn on the music a little bit. That it takes active chatters to put in the game. So I think if you talk more, you tend to show up more. Alright, now I wanna have a look around. Purple says, that's why it's never me, I don't talk enough. I, I think that's why. These chat bubbles are just too small, folks. No, you can't hurt yourself. Let me kill myself in game. No. Oh, oh, you mean the little rat? That's fucked up. The little, little bunny. You can see we got a bit of lag when we zoom out. I forget if I had this last time. It's probably like one of my mods, but I don't know which. So I'm just gonna deal with it for now. Until I like figure out what it is. Holy shit, bugs. Holy shit, insectoids! Oh god. You know what? This is like a great place to leave. Actually. I think we could probably find a better map than the insectoid map. Okay. Maybe we should go to another map, guys. Yeah, we have vanilla insect on expanded on. Yeah, we do. Damn, look at this map. Look at all the mountains here. We're gonna decide where we want to go. It's like one of the out mountains. We love mountains. We want to make a mountain base. Just with slightly less bugs. All of those tunnels have bugs in them? No, probably not all of them. This is a cool looking map. It's got like nice choke points. We like nice choke points. Is that like pre-built tunnels for us to use? That's kind of handy. A mountain next to the sea? Yeah, that's also a cool idea. Like, that's a nice map. You've got like... Tunnelless mountains over here. Tunnels means bugs. Okay. Well, there's no tunnels in these mountains. It's near a main road. It's got... Yeah, ocean view. Um, tons of mountains to mine. And it's the same growing period. This looks like a nice place to live, don't you guys think? That's an interesting map. We got a river map. That's also a very choke pointy map. Very defensible. Will be less wood that way. That's bugs. That looks like bugs to me. Whoa, my god. So choke pointy. Look at that map. Yeah, I mean, you're just settling right in there. Easy. You guys have to help me pick your favorite here. We've got the map preview on. You're going to tell me where you want to live. Especially the three colonists. You get more say if you want to. You like the beach? People like the beach. I must be a fucking dwarf, because I see a map like this, I'm like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, let's just go there. But you guys like the beach. <laughs> Anti-Paragon says the ocean side map is only going to go up in Property Valley. Okay, everybody wants to go to the beach. We'll go to the beach. Okay, form a caravan. And uh, we'll, we'll go right here to the beach. Everyone wants to go to the beach. It'll take two days. Let's go. Send. All the deer are talking. <laughs> I wish I knew how to make these chat bubbles bigger. I just went and left a Steam comment on this mod's page being like, this mod rules. Um, can the chat bubbles be bigger? So. Hopefully. Saska says, wait, no, I want to go to the mountains. Well, you're one person and everybody else overruled you. Hello. 73rd turtle says I got to be an insectoid. Oh, you're you're one of the bugs. <laughs> oh, you guys are little bugs. Well, we're leaving you all. Bye-bye. There's another config for the mod. Could it be changed in there? Uh, it, they're not in the config options, no. It's quite laggy when I zoom out and speed up. Quite more than it used to be. I don't know how to fix that. Need to fix that. Makes it hard to play. I gotta zoom in the past time. Boop. Around the world. Um, what are our letters here, meanwhile? 
We've got immersive research on, which I'll figure out how to do as we go. Immersive research is like, you can get data discs now. I'm trying new mods, guys. And... You can like do experiments now and shit. I'll figure it out as I go. Holy fuck, what is going on with the animation? You guys were wildin'. Okay, we got the Rimworld, Rimwar Challenge. Your arrival to the Rim has sparked the ire of the mindless monkeys. They are a ruthless... <laughs> you guys named yourself that? They are a ruthless faction that has fractured the solidarity of the planet. There can be no lasting peace as long as they remain. Your presence poses a threat to their schemes and they will hunt you until only one of you remains. Eliminate the mindless monkeys by destroying all their settlements to achieve victory. Which ones are the mindless monkeys? Okay, the, the pirates. The pirates are the mindless monkeys. So they have decided we are their Rim War enemy and they will just never ally with us. They will come for us. Twitch chat. Okay, so we know that. Thank you. We know that we've got a mechanoid figure over here. And there was an ancient danger nearby. Well, we left that, so it's fine. Let's save the game, by the way. That'd be nice. So this is just a heads up. I think my chat thing is bugged. It doesn't show up in game, but that's okay. I'll survive. I'll fix it for you once we get there. Don't worry. S T I L H O U E T T O. That should be right. Was that kingdom called the Incestina Dynasty? In 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 s in it in a in a Sistia Dynasty. So you just see what you want to see. Okay, that's a self-report. Tess, you won't be able to talk on this screen. This is the the world screen. You won't be able to see your integration here. But you are a little party leader. Look at you. Getting on the road there. The day, sun's going to come up. We're going to get moving again. Moving faster on the main road. Oh, Moobot the Timberwolf killed PG Tips the rabbit. And Beast Beer and A the Grizzly Bear killed Isaac the, the rabbit. You roll the bunny again, Isaac, just not the same type. That's because this map still exists. We should get rid of this map. Well, we'll leave it till we get there so we can watch the animals die. Chat's already owning each other. This is why I knew the kill cam, uh, the kill feed would be a great mod dad for this. Oh, then Best Beer and A died from blood loss. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac bit that bear so good that they died from blood loss. <laughs> Holy shit. What? What an insane bunny. Bunny brawler. Best beer. Pathetic bear, says chat. Why are we moving our base? Just going somewhere better. Oh my god, PG Tips is killing again. The albino Saxon died from chewed off. Oh, that's one of the insectoids died. Luckily not our albino Saxon or our PG Tips. Anti-Paragon says chat. Remember to chat just before we enter the map to ensure an animal. That's right. It's like enter it's like saying raffle. You gotta just like say meaningless chat. Just type ra- <laughs> You idiots! We're not even there anymore! Enjoy the insectoids! <laughs> idiots! Bye bye! <laughs> oh, it was Moobot! <laughs> Mubot got killed by the bugs! <laughs> Get fucked, Mubot! Okay, we can we can get rid of that base now. Abandon. Abandon ship. Chat murders Mubot as the bugs. Destroyed. No bad enemies, sorry, you guys are gone. You guys are all gone now. Oh, Stiletto is morbid out again. <laughs> hey, here we go. Uh, 
And now let's settle. Come on, Moonrod, I've only installed 200 mods. Speed it up. So annoying, I gotta pick up shit again now. You, you think you're gonna watch clouds, you idiot? No, you're gonna pick up all your shit you just dropped again. Commander, the council is requesting your Idiots. Attention. Bamboo Cutter donated $50 and says, Been loving the Roast Sigma campaign and looking forward to the Rim World. You're single handedly fixing my depression. Holy shit, that is, um, that is a lot of responsibility. Um, but I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I can only hope to do something so noble. Yeah, I love Rim World. I'm glad to be back in it. I'm glad you're having a good time. Come on, Harry, in. We'll fix your Twitch chat as we get set up here. Don't worry, Stallone. You're gonna, you're gonna be a big talker. You're gonna roleplay like crazy. It's gonna be all you. Pick up all the medicine. Pick up 12 medicine. Thank you for the $50 donation, Bamboo. It's very kind of you. Thank you for keeping it all going. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Pick up your baseball hat. Pick up your meals. Someone gets stiffed on meals now. Nine, ten, ten, ten. Where the fuck did all of your meals go? Okay, whatever. Someone's getting stiffed on meals. It's the colony's meals now. It's our meals, comrade. Okay. Now. What do we got here? Scaver at the squirrel. Um, we need to check this place out. Let's check this map out, explore it, and decide where we're going to set up shop. We know from the preview there should be a big mountain range over here on the left, and then should be like ocean on the right. Fog of War is interesting. It is. Yeah, it is. I like Fog of War a lot. Oh yeah, we love that frame rate. We got a nice little herd of gazelles down here. Hi gazelles. You guys are gonna be real good eating. We love to see all those nice gazelles. A group is approaching. A group of pawns are approaching. Yeah, they can come. I'll let them enter. Visitor. A sheriff from the Grey Plain Settlement is visiting. Welcome. You playing this on Nintendo DS? I'm playing it with too many mods, and I think some of them are broke. Hello, Coiled Snake. Do you have anything good for us? Trade. Does the sheriff have a big iron on their hip? Uh, they literally do, yes. They have a small revolver. It's, a, it's quite a small iron, actually. Um, oh, they have a component to trade. That's really good. That's actually really good. I don't really need the lever action shotgun, but I do actually really want that component because they're rare now. Okay, so I need to, like, give you some shit, I guess. What do you want to buy off me, yo? If I give you some food, we'll deal with that in a second. A little guinea pig. We got a ancient generator here, which doesn't do anything. It's just junk. Lots of like little edible animals. That's awesome. We love all the edible animals, folks. So we're just gonna pick which part of the mount we want to dig into. Probably right here in the middle. Anything is edible at least once. <laughs> Yeah. Cyrus Rain says the big the big cliff face on the water seems like a good spot for our loser mole people undergrounders. Um Yeah, I mean you could also build on the water. I feel like digging into the map edge is always a good time though. I feel like digging in here is good. Where is our good soil? Um 
Okay, it, it's, it's, there's not a ton of like rich soil around here. It's like a little bit underwater, but I just... I don't think I want to build underwater. Honestly, chat. I think, I think I've settled on right here is a nice place to build our Fallout Vault. Now, Fallout Vaults aren't built overnight, so we want to find some temporary lodgings until then. Uh, maybe like right here. Ancient War Spider, that's cool. Maybe come over here and we'll just make like a... Where are the trees? Ancient... Oh, fucking god damn it. Okay, there is um, an ancient danger right next to our home. It's fine, we're just not going to open it. Uh, Incredence says, Beegs, you need to build a port base for the boat girls no matter the cost. Um, I think I don't need to do that. So what I would like to do here is chop some wood. Everyone's like yelling beach house. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing a beach house. <laughs> chat! Chat, I'm not doing a beach house! Um, we're going to set up a stockpile zone here. And a dumping stockpile. Here. You guys want to like... Oh, i got to do my work. You guys want to help plant cut? You, you suck at it. You're like decent at it. I gotta like do all my, my skill priorities and shit. Don't you hate this shit? I'll worry about this later. I, I ain't getting too into this right now. Worry about doing this later. I trust you my life. Glory, glory for our people. Sick. Sick idea. Okay, nobody's like wants to do anything tonight. So just come over here and like put your beds down. Everybody's lazy, no one wants to do anything. We just got here. Let's just put our little bedrolls down. And go to sleepy. No, you lazy fucker. Install your beds. Bed. Bed. You've walked for two days. You've had rest! Sleepy time. We all sleep in a big happy family. <laughs> Punny in the middle. Oh no, we didn't get the component! Fuck! Very long outdoors. Oh yeah, you guys are like dwarf nerds. You want to get inside. So we don't want to take a long time building this, we're just going to spend like half a day to just like put some wood walls up and turn this into a temporary lodging space. Okay? Just real quick, okay? Okay. Just like a place to exist briefly that's like makes us happy. So nothing crazy, just some wood panel floors. Ed Pastry says, does being a bunny or whatever change uh, uh, affect the pawn stats? Nope. I like my different race mods uh, just to be like cosmetic mainly. Like it's not like you're like really, you know, better or worse because you like are a different race. You just like are, are like more just different, you know, cosmetically. That's it. You don't have to worry about like being super different. They're just little, little different races, that's all. We got some floors. Fuck these floors. It's a waste of wood. You know what? I don't give a shit. I'm a fucking colonizer, literally. I don't give a fuck. Remember to build a prison that isn't two steps below on level this time? I will not do that. Yeah, maybe chat's the waste of wood. Maybe. Uh, let's claim all this as home zone, so that we we know everybody knows we live here. Look at that sweet urn. Can we install that urn inside? That's like mad. Nice urn, bro. 
Look at that sweet sandstone st oh, steel. That's sick. Let's get rid of that. But I let's just remember that this is like... Can I get like my planning? Where's my planning? Yeah, let's just remember that this is like bad over here. Bad times. Don't, don't go in there. Yinlok says, we took an ancient cultural artifact and built a shitty house around it. We really are colonizers. Yeah, we're like building McDonald's around Stonehenge right now. It's awesome. Go in there for the content. Get that wood. How am I going to wall this off eventually? Wall. 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 It's okay. I want to like someone to put my wind turbine. What's actually in there? Like probably like evil robots or some shit. Okay, we want a wind power plant. We'll put that right there, I guess. That'll be nice and, and it's safe as well. We can like put a wall around it too, which is cool. Can I get rid of the 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 the, the, the roof zone there, please? Yeah, I think it's already unroofed. Let me let me see where's roof. Yeah, okay, cool. So if we can just mine that out, mine these tiles out for me, and then we'll put a. Isaac says, ah, oh, yes, a wind turbine right beside a cliff. I'm generating a ton of power. It will actually, Isaac. Okay, you don't be negative. It will. Probably. Because as long as we keep the white space unobstructed, it should be fine. So yes, Isaac. It's a great place for a wind turbine. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's going to be an awesome place for one. But we are going to need steel. Here's some compacted steel to mine. Let's just uh, vein mine all of that. Okay, so this is going to take like a couple of days actually, because I'm, I'm like installing power and shit as well. It's going to take a minute. Being realistic, this is going to take a minute. PG Chip says, except the comic center makes it so there's a wind direction that changes, so who knows, might not be the best soon. Oh god, wind directed? I don't fucking know. This will be, this will be good enough. This'll work. On the right. Moderate breeze heading southeast. I'm sure it doesn't matter. That doesn't seem like the kind of thing that matters. Isaac says, couldn't put the wind turbine of clear avenues for wind in excess of the coast. No, right beside Dan Cliff. Yeah, because that's that's called slipstreaming. It's like aeronautics. You know how planes have flaps that make the air go over them and it makes the power? So it's the same thing here. The wind comes in over the ocean, goes over the mountain, comes back down, straight into the wind turbine. And if you don't agree with me, chat, I know some of you fuckers are typing right now to disagree with me. And you're all wrong, so don't bother. If you ever built a wind turbine in real, ch in real life, then you're not allowed to talk. If you've built a wind turbine in real life, I'll let you speak. <laughs> Have you beagle? No, I'm not out here telling you what's wrong! Live your truth! If you think wind works the way you think it does, it does. I won't hear anything else about it. What if I built a wind turbine but it didn't work? Don't want to hear it. Actually, I do want to hear it because you've learned from the most important teacher of all failure. Tell us what didn't work about your wind turbine. Spaghetti Time says I built a water wheel. Same thing. There you go. Um, let's put in some wall lights. I think you want one right above where you sleep, right? That seems sick. Maybe not. Um, we'll put like one here. 
and one over here. And uh, just for just for something different, one little fun one right here. And I'll put some on the outside too, so we can see. Uh, at least over here in our stockpile area, and down here we're gonna go to work. And then we're also gonna make an eating area because boy do colonists hate eating without tables. Folding table. People eat off tables and chairs are placed facing them. Money can be used to buy goods and services. Uh, a local, the 73rd turtle, has gone mad. It will attack everything it sees. Everyone it sees. Okay. Well, guys, just keep your eyes out for... for bad little babies. Okay, so you guys can just have, like... You can have a little wood table here. A little wood table? Where? Where? You want it like... We'll put in some workbenches there, so not there. You guys can have a sweet little table. What about like right there next to our sweet urn? That's pretty cool. Yo, that's awesome. We're gonna have three chairs. Oh! Fucking gazelle! Holy shit, help! Help me! Got him! Ow, my fucking ear! Fuck you, 73rd turtle, we're eating you tonight. Medic! Our bonus X is the medic. Alright, you keep on. Uh, PG tips. You gotta go rest. Go have a sleepy. Fuck you, 73rd turtle! Get SKS a blow for freedom! <laughs> Poor PG tips got all bloodied. Let's tend you up. Doctor! Oh, you're gonna use the medicine. Holy shit. We like you. You'll get less scars this way. You thought it was a turtle? No, it's the Twitch Shatter, the 73rd turtle. Aw, oh, poor PG Tips. Bandage all those bruises up. You're gonna be fine. The invaders have made their intentions quite clear. Yeah. You come and stab us with your horns? We're gonna shoot you. We're not, no, we're not gonna bury them. We're gonna eat them. Here it comes. It, it always goes this way with chat. Chat room world. Chat always is offended that we eat them. I don't know why. Oh, this is built. Where's our constructor? It's albino. Albino. Let's drop those components. Let's get that power going. Yeah, we'll cook them tomorrow before they rot. Look at all that wind power, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, PG Tip says, I would like to kill any 73rd turtle I see. Okay. <laughs> 73rd turtle says, I won't rot. Okay, bro, you're different. <laughs> Why does the game say you're going to rot in uh, 2.3 days? <laughs> game, game lies. <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> uh, day two is pretty good. We have power and a table. Oh, okay. We have a power and a chair. Sorry. Stiletto was like, fuck yeah, I love staying up all night mining. I'm a fucking dwarf. Oh, <laughs> who killed this gazelle? Sweet. I'll put it with the rocks. Yeah, we, we built around the monument earlier. Save my game. This is going great. Save my game. Hell yeah. I think we need like a little bit more woody. PG Tips is fully healed. Dead on fine. No worries, mate. There's not a lot of wood. It'll be good to make a, a mine base. There's like no trees.
Oh no, don't put the components out there, baby. Oh no, no, what is he doing? We'll get some storage in a second, but first... Component. What are you up to, PG Tips? You're up? You're up, uh, cutting? Cutting trees at, uh... Two in the morning? Good for you. Next to Scave Rat. Happy little, happy little squirrel. That turbo insurer is pumping out the power. It is! Look at all that power. It's going hard as fuck. I'm sick of chat being mean to me. Chat is always mean to me. Oh, Beagle. You built your wind turbine facing a cliff. Oh, Beagle. You installed a mod that made things incredibly, like, masochistic. And now things are bad. Oh, Beagle. Scave Rat says, tame me, shave my tail. Basically a rat. <laughs> We're not taming a rat, because then we have to feed a rat. Right now, how you live is your problem. I'm not making you my problem, Scave Rat. You stay the fuck over there, don't you tame. Wood, 75, deteriorating because of unroofed outdoors? Pfft, what? Wood doesn't deteriorate, what the fuck is this? What a stupid game. What the hell? Who the fuck's ever heard of wood deteriorating? Now chat, I know you're typing, but if you've never wooded in real life, I don't want to hear it. Uh, no, I don't have vanilla genetics expanded on yet, no. Maybe one day, but I don't need it right now. You wooden right now? Yeah, fuck Morbin. Kingdom Source says, how do you think wood alcohol is made, Beagle? Fucking wood what? Okay, we need a kitchen. Let's get a electric stove. Oh yeah. Congratulations, Albana Saxon. You leveled up your constructing. Did it do the little icon? I love that little cute icon. Where's that little cute icon gone? Okay, so we're, we're, we're kind of like chilling out in here a little bit longer. Because it always takes longer than I think to set this shit up. Um, electric stove, aye aye. Uh, new lovers. Who's loving out here? Stiletto courted PG Tips by making an observation about morality. PG Tips agreed to be become Stiletto's lover. Stiletto and PG Tips now want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. You guys are in a triple bed. Come on. What was your chat about? Just an observation about morality. Oh! The Albino Saxon consulted extensively about human sacrifices, Stiletto. That's cool. Stiletto also tried to romance PG Tips immediately by telling a story about identity. Conversed about Jokerification. <laughs> Still think they'll be able to talk in game? Um. Sorry, I must have missed Albino couldn't talk. Can you not talk, Albino? Chat, don't let me say another dumb joke until I've got them both talking. Albino Saxon said Lord. Yeah, it looks like you can't talk. Let me try to fix this. The Albino Saxon. Try again. I feel like we had this problem last time, and I don't remember how we fixed it, but I feel like we fixed it. Test. Yeah, I'm not seeing you type. I don't know how. I think you have to write the names all in lowercase. Is that it? Maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Because we had this problem last time, remember? The- oh, because it's an IRC client. The Albino Saxon. That might actually be it. You might be smart as hell. Try it now. Hey, Banzer, what a fucking genius. Hey, I'm geniusing over here. 
What a genius. He's wicked smart. Stiletto should be able to talk now too. Wicked smart. <laughs> Let's have a little stool. A little pair of stools here, because we're also going to need a butcher's table? What else do we want to make a table for? No, we don't need to research out here. Probably just a butcher's table, I think. It's probably smarter to just make shit out of, like, steel. But it ruins my aesthetic. I guess just make a steel butcher's table. Stone cutter table. Who's cutting stones? Not this guy. Oh, and then we gotta, um, smooth our shit. Yo, smooth the stone surfaces so that we feel like cool as fuck in here. So we ball in. We're gonna be so happy in here. Can we turn people into nutrient paste? I mean, you can! You can do all sorts of awful things if you really want to. Oh, uh, since it looks like you'll be here for a while, PG Tips thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? Alright, the three of you get the pick, but you can chat, you can give suggestions to them. PG Tips, Albino, Stiletto, I'll let you guys pick. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in like two minutes. Decide what we're calling this place. This this colony. This this place. <laughs>